zero down home loans in Salt Lake and Utah County. That is what we're talking about today. So if you're a first time home buyer or a home buyer that doesn't have a large down payment, there still may be a way for you to get into your house. So check out today's video. Hi, this is Melissa Ballman and I'm a real estate agent here in the greater Salt Lake City area. So what that means, if you're making a real estate move, I'd love to connect with you. Shoot me a text, send me an email, do what you gotta do, but get in touch with me. Also, if you haven't already, make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel and click the bell, that way you're alerted each week when I drop a new video. Today we're going to talk to Jason Allen and he is a lender that I recently hooked up with because um, he represented a buyer on a listing that I had and I have to tell you when I got the offer and it said you could close in 15 days I literally told my seller don't count on it if that's the only reason you're taking the offer don't count on it. <laughs> um, it truth time, right? Um, but you did, you delivered on that and you had awesome service. You kept in touch with me even as the listing agent. And so I want to talk to you today. So if you want to give like just a quick 10 second, who you are, how long you've been doing this. Yeah, absolutely. Thank you. And, and by the way, um, you were, uh, not to, not to, you know, pat you on the back too much. You were a, a delight to work with. I like where I've been doing this since 1992. And so I start off with that date because as a lender, as you can imagine, I have talked to a lot of real estate agents over the years because I'm primarily a purchase guy. Um, yeah, when refinances uh, are a thing, obviously participate in that. We're really good at refinances, but purchases are, are my bread and butter. And so because I talk to so many real estate agents, I talk to a lot of agents who are new and who have been around for a long time. And many of those agents are a hot mess. And many of them uh, are like you. They are people who are organized. You're good, a good negotiator. You're a good communicator. You, um, you understand because of your experience what the bigger picture of a transaction is. And it's not just you know to flex your muscles or try to act like you know, you're uh, a bigger deal than you really are, but it is really to give your seller the best experience you possibly, they can possibly have in the transaction. But also it was a delight to work with you on the other side, on the buying side. And, and I appreciated that. And because of that, you know, that, that 15 day turn time, we actually felt like, um, our, our thing is we, you know, give us 10 minutes, we'll close in 10 days. Right. And I'm going to try to keep this elevator speech as short as possible you know so when we told you that we were we would close that deal in 15 days coming out of you know the 2020 and how long turn times were we were super excited to just be able to say 15 days our goal was to get back to our original 10-day close yeah. so um anyway long story short uh that's me been in lending since 1992 yeah the current administration it, you know they're trying to to put together some things to to to, as incentives, back in the day, there used to be these uh, these tax credits that a, a buyer would get for being a first time home buyer, um, in addition to the mortgage interest um, that they could use to deduct. Um, right now, I would say probably for first time home buyers, my favorite program, if cash to close, if being short on a cash to close is a problem. In, in the state of Utah, we have a great first-time home buyer and not so first-time home buyer program through the Utah Housing Organization, Utah Housing Corporation. And it is, it is legitimately a zero down transaction. And, and when I say that, that's challenging because the first thing, the first uh, hurdle we got to overcome in a purchase transaction with a first-time home buyer, and, and you can hopefully nod your head that you agree with me, is that um, you know sometimes even earnest money, the amount of earnest money that a first-time home buyer has to come up with today mm -hmm. is, is kind of substantial. It can be in the thousands. We, I would normally tell someone, hey, be ready uh, to come up with a half a percent 
to 1% of your purchase price as the earnest money deposit. That's really going to be the only out-of-pocket expense you're going to have with this zero down transaction. So you're talking average loan size, average transaction size, let's call it used to be 300,000. I know it's now up to over 400, yeah. but for the purpose of easy math, let's call it $300,000. Well, a half a point of $300,000 is $1,500 for earnest money. When was the last time you did a transaction <laughs> with earnest money that little? I don't remember. <laughs> yeah. And so now it's, it's thousands of dollars, thousands of dollars that even a first time home buyer needs to come up with, come up with these days. But because of the way we structure that Utah housing transaction as a zero down deal, many times, depending on what's important to the, to the buyer, we structure it so they get that earnest money refunded. Hmm. So it is a zero down. In the beginning, you got to come up with a deposit, but you'll get the money back at closing. So they can wrap up all of their closing costs, everything into that loan and. Yeah. No Excellent question. Settlement. So the way that we do it is um, it's their FHA transactions. And so the only limit to these, these first time home buyer programs, like the Utah housing corporation is you're limited to the FHA maximum loan amount for the County in which the borrower is going to, the buyer is going to buy uh, or Utah housing's maximum purchase price because it's designed for first time home buyers. So they do have some income limits uh, uh, that they put on the buyer. Maximum loan amount for an FHA loan is $453,100. So your down payment would be on top of that. Now that's a tiny bit different with Utah Housing Corporation because they just recently, theirs was actually lower than that. Their maximum purchase price because of the income limit the income right. limitation. So if I were to jump into, do I have time to do that? To jump yeah. into Utah, Utah Housing Corp's website and look at what their maximum purchase prices are now. So again, it's different per county. So if we were to look at Salt Lake County, first time home buyer, the maximum purchase price is 402300 Now the FHA maximum loan amount is 453 100 so you can see how there's the maximum purchase price with fa or loan amount it was, is actually a little bit higher but utah housing does limit because they want to try to help first-time home buyers so so they know with those income limits it kind of limits you on what your maximum price could be but in salt lake county you could go to a hundred percent loan to value as of the the time of this recording four hundred two thousand three hundred dollars as a maximum purchase price so if you have the money to it, it, for a down payment and you can do the three and a half percent FHA, then you're actually going to get more of a sales price. So if you're kind of set on staying in Salt Lake County and not being in a condo, um, you know, if you can save up that three and a half percent, that is an, a great option for you. But, you know, I tell all my first time home buyers, you have to start somewhere. Like, don't, don't think you're going to jump right into your dream home right away. It's okay to start in a condo or a townhouse just to get your foot in that real estate market and start building that equity for yourself. Yeah, absolutely. If, okay, so if somebody wants to reach out to you and get more information on any of the loan programs you have, I'll put your information up on the screen, but what's the best way for somebody to get in touch with you? Well, don't judge me, but my phone number and my email address are kind of cheesy, but um, I think they're easy to remember. So I am Jason Allen. I'm the branch manager of the network of network funding here in Sugar House, Utah, which is a, a suburb of, of Salt Lake County uh, or Salt Lake City. Uh, my phone number is 801-809-5626, which is 801-809-LOAN. Oh. And then my email address is just simply jason at calljasonnow.com. I hope you enjoyed my video today. If you haven't already, hop on over to our group called Salt Lake Life if you're on Facebook. And we talk about all things about living in the greater Salt Lake City and really the Utah area. And if you have any questions, don't hesitate to reach out to me. I'd love to connect with you, but as always, make it a great day.